everybody. Uh, my name is Roy Barry. I'm the creator of uh, multiple products. Uh, I have five products on the market at the moment. And um, the reason I'm doing this vlog is because I want to run through basically, you know, how I came about to get these products on the market when I created them, how I protected them, how I developed them, how I packaged them. This is one of my products. It's called the Poppet Ball, which we launched at Harrods. Um, you know, and you know, looking at this, you know, it looks simple enough, but it took 12 months to develop along with the packaging and you know, all the compliance stuff and all that carry on. Um, I also created the, the hook rest and snooker. Um, that was my first product. And uh, actually, I was working as a painter and decorator at the time. And uh, I was playing snooker, and I came up with this idea. And to make a long story short, twelve months later, it was used in the final of the World Championships at the Crucible, and it's now standard equipment in the game of snooker. So that's what got me going in this crazy game they call invention and creation and uh, my second product was a product called the Hinge Pro for carpenters uh, it allows carpenters to chop out a hinge in under 10 seconds by hand which sold very well we initially made 10,000 of the product and it sold every one of them my third product was the gap tip measuring tip um, it's it's different and how it's different is that at the back of the tape it starts at 100 mil and the body is 100 mil so if you want to measure a gap you just hit 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 the back end and turn it upside down and it gives you the measurements that you have but on the front of it is just an ordinary tape so that's a nice product uh, my fourth product was the pop-up ball um, that's that really sells well online um, and my fifth product believe it or believe it not is the voice TV show that's the, the original copyright for the voice TV show and that's now in 180 countries um, so I want to kind of run through you know what it takes to you know when you're sitting at home and you get this great idea and you think oh this is going to work and see people think it's very very easy but it's there's a lot of work in it and there's a lot of stuff you have to get right before you even start and in terms of I, I've met many people around the country and they said to me I have this great idea and you know we go 50 50 on it and uh, they say like there's nothing like it out there and I says well how do you know there's nothing like it out there and, and they would say to me well, I checked online, but you know, that, that doesn't really work because within the patent system, if I patent something today, it's not gonna be published for 12 months. So there could have been somebody working on this for the last six months, the same product, and you say, yeah, I got this great idea. So you go ahead and you, you start working on it on the basis that you didn't see anything like it online. You've gotta do a patent search because if you spend all this money developing your product, get the product out there, and then you're gonna have a knock at the door and say, look, I filed my patent six months before you, so, you know, you're infringing on my product, so stop. And you have to stop. So, um, silly little things like that. But I'm also gonna, over the next few months, go, gonna meet some Irish inventors, have a chat with them, uh, see what they've done, how they've done it, and like, you know, people think also like with an invention that they need, they, they need an awful lot of money. They don't. Like if you've got a good idea, you do the proper research, make sure nobody else has done it, and you file a patent for it, which doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg either. You, you, if you're smart, you can get a patent for up to sixty to a hundred quid. You know, if you study, you know, the, the patent system, and um, so once you've got that patent in your hand. That becomes an intellectual property, which becomes a value. So, if you need fifty to sixty to seventy thousand to get this product out there, well, you approach an investor and you say, "Look, I have this product, I have this idea, I have these drawings. What do you think?" 
And the first thing he'd say, do you have your protection? And I said, but yes, I have a technical patent. And again, there's many different st sorts of patents. The technical patent is how a product works. The design patent is how a product looks. And to add to that, then you, 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 you file your trademark, which protects your name. And I always, the first thing I, I ever do with an, with an invention is I find out, I get a good name and, and find out is the domain name available. And if the domain name, the domain name is not available, I don't bother. I look again and I try and change the name. But if you have the domain name and it's available, then, you know, you, you go on from there and then you trademark it. And so the, putting that legal package around the product is very, very important. Very, very important. Because, you know, when you go into an investor, they know you're serious, they know you know what you're at, and uh, they'll invest, basically, uh, if they think the product is good enough. Another part of that is, you know, have you come up with an idea that will sell? Have you got, come up with an idea that solves a problem? Is it really a problem? Um, they're all the things you have to flesh out. And uh, I'm going to be doing this blog once a week, um, and then you can throw live questions at me, and... You know, if it helps people in terms of not making the mistakes I made on my first few products, which cost me a lot of money, um, then great. And, uh, you know, because a lot of people have great ideas, but they just don't know what to do with them. So, going forward, I'm going to be introducing you to new inventors around the country. I'm going to be introducing you to new products. I'm going to be introducing you to the patent system and the, the minefield that that is and the business ends uh, you know me as a creative I've got a partner that runs the business end so like people think they can come up with an idea uh, patent it develop it finance it sell it you, you can't do it all you can't do it all and that's why I just focus on the creative process and you know the protection and the branding and the, the marketing so when I come up with a good idea my job basically is to put all the protections in place you know develop up the product develop up the packaging to have it ready to go on sale and then I hand it to my business partner and he gets up he goes out and he does the sale he runs the business then whilst I'm looking at creating other products you know, I'm, at the moment I'm in development with it, my, my second TV show. Uh, we're talking to Channel 4, we're talking to some big companies and, and there's really, really big interest in it. I've spent the last year working on it. Uh, you know, so I thought developing a TV show was going to be an A4 sheet of paper. But it's not, it's a lot more than that. And uh, we've had Keith Barry on board with it. Um, his management, we have a UK company that does all the stuff for the X Factor, they're involved. So, you know, contracts, that's another, you know, for us fellow creatives, contracts are, you know, you sign, sign on the wrong line and, you know, they, these these guys are sharks out there and they'll, they'll just take it. But no, I'm lucky enough, I've got a good partner who, who's got a good knowledge of all this stuff and uh, he protects me. Uh, in that area, I've got a good lawyer, which is, uh, you know, a lawyer is is very, very important in this business of innovation. And um, so I, I'm just here now to introduce myself. Uh, Roy Barry is my name. You, uh, uh, RoyBarryCreations.com, I have a website where you can view all my products. But I, I, I on this channel, I will be putting my products up in my product videos and, um, you know, hopefully, It'll help you and hopefully, you know, you too could have a product out in the market over the next few years. So thank you very much. Uh, and I'll, once a week, every Saturday, uh, so tune in. Thank you.